Combustion reactions occur when something burns. It always involves a fuel compound combining with oxygen to form oxide compounds or whatever elements are present in the fuel. So your end product should contain an oxygen. For example, when you burn a piece of magnesium strip in a flame, the word equation in chemical equation is like so. As you can see, the product of magnesium oxide contains oxygen. Combustion reactions are always exothermic, that is, they release chemical energy. As stated before, the amount of energy released to form the new bonds far outweighs the amount of energy required to break the bonds. In many cases, there is a visible flame, which is a region of gas in which the reaction is occurring, heated up by the energy released so that it glows. Common combustion reactions include those of hydrocarbons. Let's take a look at a few. Natural gas and LPG, liquefied petroleum gas, contain methane, made up of one carbon bonded to four hydrogens. When reacted with enough oxygen, methane combusts to produce carbon dioxide and water. The water given off is steam or water vapor during the reaction and energy. Another example is petrol, which is a mixture of many hydrocarbons, but we can use octane as an example. As you can see, this hydrocarbon is massive, made up of 8 carbons covalently bonded to 18 hydrogens. Coincidentally, far more bonds are being formed, which means more energy is released per mole of octane. But you're also wondering, what's with the fraction? Well, when necessary, it is usual to balance the equation with a fractional mole quantity of oxygen, so that the equation shows one mole of fuel, in this case, one mole of octane. 